We are Social Blade. There was a little study that came out this past <coughs> week analyzing the Twitter search uh, to see what everyone's saying in their timelines can actually pretty accurately predict what uh, opening weekend movie box office profits are going to be. They're able to predict it within 97.3%. HP Labs in Palo Alto, California, these two people who I can try to say their names, but I'll probably butcher it, something uh, Sitaram Asur and Bernando Huberman, they've been working on this for a little while, and they, uh, over the past couple of weeks, studied Twitter mentions of 24 major releases, including Alice in Wonderland, Avatar, Twilight, and several other things, and uh, they basically look in even Twitter has this. You can go in the search results and see uh, if things are positive or negative, uh, the tweets. Uh, they've taken that data and actually compiled it all together, and they predicted, for example, the movie Dear John, which came out this past week, they predicted that it would garner $30.71 million in box office profits on opening weekend, and it actually got 30.46. So very, very close. They also predicted that the movie The Crazies would get 16.8 million and it got 16.07. So very, very close. They don't actually have any plans yet to commercialize this, but they are in the process of applying for a patent on this. It's just amazing here. Uh, I actually had my, an idea on my own that uh, this would work really well to um, predict also TV ratings. So, you know, these days TV ratings are all done through Nelson ratings. What they could do instead is uh, use Twitter to, to find out what uh, all the TV shows that people are talking about are. And, you know, instead of using Nelson ratings, which are, you know, there's only a couple hundred people in the U.S. or so that predict the TV for the whole country, they could do something like this as well. So that's what I hope will happen in the future. What do you guys think? I think so. I think um, Twitter is this is what everybody's been talking about when it when it comes down to it, nobody really cares about twitter and when i say nobody i'm saying the yeah the businesses they don't care about twitter so much for for, for its user base because the user base is is you know uh, hit or miss sometimes they don't uh they don't care for it because of of its advertising its revenue model um its exposure even though all of these things are are, are either uh, good or potentially good in the future. What they're interested in is the data, and this is a perfect example of how that data can be used and aggregated in a way that is predictive, in a way that that can be used from a from a marketing, from a research per perspective, from pretty much anything. Research and development of, of products you can utilize Twitter for. The 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 potential is endless. That's why Google and Apple and Microsoft and even even some non uh, you know, outside of the, the technology realm, just about any big company can see that that there's there's huge potential here. More so, I think, than Facebook, at least from a data mm -hmm. aggregation perspective. Because Facebook is a little bit more um, convoluted with with the jibber jabber photos, blah 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 blah. Well, just with, my opinion. With Twitter, also, I mean, they they even have the API open there, so uh, anyone really can get access to it very very easily. Yeah, I, and I think that's really one of the biggest strengths of Twitter is the fact that they have such a vast and open API with a fundamentally, uh, you know, continually inf infinite amounts of data that people could mine. And so uh, I know that there's a lot of companies working on, you know, obviously things like social search and uh, sentiment-based, uh, you know, and, and analytics that have to do with products and uh, services and stuff. Um, you know, why not for movies? It makes a lot of sense. You know, uh, a movie like Flash of the Titans... You know, it it got a lot of buzz. There was a lot of blog articles, a lot of chatter about it on Twitter. Um, you know, and here's two guys who found a way uh, to take the chatter on Twitter and make it useful. You know, make it yeah. useful to the companies that are dumping millions and millions of dollars into producing these, uh, in the producing these flicks and productions. So you know, this kind of info is definitely relevant to them in terms of getting, uh, you know, basically testing the audience for the kind of the initial first impression on ideas and concepts and storylines. So uh, I think it's that's a really great way to use the Twitter data, you know, at least in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, and so I, I mean, they they just use the Twitter API, which uh, for anyone that isn't aware, API is application programming interface. It's just a way that programmers can get uh, direct access into basically everything that comes through from Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh. and yeah, again, 97.3% accurate. 
uh, movie, wow. yeah, movie, movie studios. I mean, they do their own studies here, traditional yeah. ways, but they only get about ten percent, or within ten yeah. percent, so like ninety percent. Hmm. So I mean, this is more accurate than that. And, and also, the they said that um, the <clears throat> movie studio or the traditional studies usually mm -hmm. uh, fall short on films that are, are for like kids or target uh, teens or fanboys. So those type of movies, yeah. like Star Wars or something like that, uh, would just you know <laughs> it doesn't work. So I think it's interesting. That, yeah, I really think that this is going to be the future. And again, yeah. uh, if someone, I really think Nelson should uh, switch over to this format. You, you yeah, keep, you'll keep a lot of shows a few, on too. <laughs> and there's a few implications here because you know movie studios they they spend quite a bit, uh, you know, doing things like audience testing, you know, and, and really trying to get some uh, feedback on their product. And if there's a way to do it via Twitter, where you know, it's not only accurate, but the sampling uh, size of the kind of overall uh, audience that's, you know, being part of this uh, data exchange, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, you know, it, we're going to be living in a society where, you know, a, a week before their movie comes out, studios can decide, you know, uh, how, how popular it's really going to be. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing, you know. Just shows you where technology's heading, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Invading the internet, covering web 2.0, coast to coast, worldwide, and everywhere in between. This is where you put the social in social media. We are Social Blade.